it's menopause, right? You're probably thinking all of these things, the weight gain, the inability to lose weight, the visceral fat storage, maybe the depression, increased intestinal bloating, the brain fog, all these symptoms are probably just menopause. You can't do anything about it, right? What if I told you that it might be something else? You see, we can't control estrogen and progesterone, but we can control two other hormones. And in this video, I want to talk about one hormone that we can control, and that is insulin. And all these symptoms you may think are menopause, but they could actually be insulin resistance. And let me tell you, this is good news because we can control insulin resistance easily by adding some exercise and improving our nutrition. Now, let me explain the role of insulin for you. Now, when we eat food, particularly carbohydrate, our blood sugar elevates. When our blood sugar elevates, our body releases insulin. Now, this is neither good nor bad. This is just how our body works. So then when our body has insulin, it does one of three things with that blood sugar. It's either going to use that blood sugar to provide you immediate energy. So for example, if you're working out or walking the dog or vacuuming the floor, you're gonna use that energy for right away. Or let's say you had a hard workout, uh, you, uh, that insulin will use that, will put that energy into your liver or muscles as glycogen. And the third option would be that if you're not working out, if your liver and muscle stores are topped up, it will take that energy and convert it into fat. Now the big lesson here with insulin is that you cannot lose fat in the presence of insulin because insulin is in energy, um, it, it won't, you won't be able to mobilize any stored fat in the presence of insulin because insulin is, is directing the energy into immediate use or storage of some sort. So we really want to be able to manage our insulin. So how do we manage our insulin? Well, we don't want to have big peaks and valleys of insulin um, and blood sugar because we're going to have energy surges and slumps then. So there's a couple things that we can do to manage our insulin so we have these rolling hills of blood sugar, insulin response, blood sugar, insulin response. And that would be just to avoid simple carbs. Because when we have those simple carbs, say you have a pound of jelly beans, you're gonna get a blood sugar spike, insulin's gonna get a big insulin dump. And if you've ever had a big meal and you wanna lay on the couch and fall asleep, that's because you've had an insulin dump and you get low energy. So we wanna avoid those simple carbs. We wanna focus on complex carbohydrates. Like for example, vegetables. Your mom and your grandma were right about eating your vegetables. And an excellent rule would be to eat protein with every meal and snack because that really helps to stabilize your blood sugar so that you don't have those surges and um, slumps in energy. Now, if you need some help managing your hormones or knowing what to do so you can manage your hormones, reach out to me, I'm here to help you.